Hello everyone and welcome back for some more Thetmus and his network of stabbings in Prince of Darkness. And we are currently two-thirds into the Broken Family, but Healing Family is catching up fast and it's just 18 points behind. So we're gonna have to put in some work into this so we can get ahead again. And uh, to do that we can reveal some secrets, we can become rivals with people. Uh, we're, our influence is already absolute, so is this just progressing per year or something? Because this can only happen once, but we got 11 times of this, so this has actually put in some good work. Uh, but also, we can get the Council of Scrolls influence to non-existent. So we're gonna have to put in some slander on those guys, and... Uh, wait, where is it? Uh, oh, it's grayed out. Ah, because we're at war. Okay. But once we get out of this war, we're gonna do some slander so we can make so we can tarnish their reputation. But we can also do some killing, which I think is very, very good. Well, it's a good way to get some points, I feel. And it's kind of right up our alley. So let's just target people who kind of hate us. Cause I feel like those are political enemies. And I'd say 76 is good enough. Do we have... Uh, yeah, we already have support schemes, so that is as good as we're gonna get it. But we can probably find... Oops, not learning. Uh, intrigue, there we go. We can finally so find some more that wants to die. Uh, preferably people who hate us. Like, not like her, because she was hard to kill. Come on, someone needs, should be able to, or should be easy to kill, right? Does everyone have 40%? Come on. One of you, surely. How about you? Ooh, excellent. We get some agents. Perfect. How about you? While well, we're at it. Nah. And you. Oh, and... Can't... Oh, okay. I guess we've already tried him. Okay, whatever. We got two of them. So, we're gonna work on that. And we are still in a war as well. Because we're helping up out our dad with this. Uh, but we didn't want to spend too much money. So, we sent a very small force with our champions. Just to help out. But still save some money. I know we have a, <laughs> a very healthy amount of money. But I also, I'm also very cheap, so we can hold some court. Which has nothing to do with what, what I was saying, but we need to hold court. So, first in line. My lord, I represent the religious community of Sabzavar. Of Sabzavar. While ru uh, rummaging through our modest archive, we have come across a pe very peculiar book. The cover was dusty, the binding fragile, and the pages were yellowed by time. But it contained the most unusual drawings, and scripts itself was un the script itself was un unknown to us all. We are certain it is unique in the world, a long lost vo uh, vault of knowledge, a treasure, a true treasure. That's why we offer it to you. Perhaps it's original copy of the Will of God, or a it's a memoir from the world's creation. Okay, that's, that's a little bit, like, anticlimactic. Yeah, thanks, I'll get, put it in my library, who cares? Uh, stash it under, like, Curious George. I'll get to it eventually, I just gotta find Valdo first. Uh, let me have, have a look at it right now. Because we have good learning, I guess? Or it's just because it is um, a learning opportunity. Ooh, we can get some learning, or a lot of learning, or lose some prestige and get a little bit of prestige. It must be a work of the beast. Burn it. But if it is a work of the beast, wouldn't we want to learn from it? Hmm. No, uh, no. Nah, nah. Let's uh, let's see if we can get some learning and some extra prestige. And okay, we only got one learning skill. Still good. That's a learning skill and some prestige. Always nice to have. A frightful uh, peasant strolls all too close before a guard steps uh, steps between us. Ooh, she backs up with a wink, laughing through scant teeth. 
Your lordness, I come here from Langham with a matter of great art import. Her eyebrows undulate. Ya see, Caliph, the knight's watchman's sister swore she could make better tea than the bailiff's wife, and of course they were judged. Uh, they were judged a tie, and then the husbands got involved. <laughs> you don't say. Please kill me. Um, I'm not gonna exchange my jester because that's gonna cost us a lot of prestige. Oh, and we did get to illustrious, which is excellent. But uh, I'm just gonna say that like, get the hell out of my court. I I never want to see you again. I didn't even understand what you said. Uh, they're hanging us, hounding us. We we could keep order, my lord. Uh, please, we can organize ourselves without the, without all the death. A peasant man from the country of Aral Gizi, an area plagued by unrest held by my vassal Count Marshid, assures me that control can be restored without undue bloodshed. Hmm, curious. That sounds absolutely ludicrous, but we'll try it your way. <laughs> um, you're right. What we need is excessive bloodshed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where is this? Uh, we are... Oh, it's up there. Isn't this like absolute garbage place? Yeah, it's one development, nothing in there. No tax, no control. It seems like maybe we do need excessive bloodshed. That'll put that make this under control. Good. Thanks for bringing this to my attention. I always like to help the little people. So, let us uh, go and help with this. We'll see if we even win this war. I'm not too invested. It doesn't really matter to me. I don't want to lose any of my champions. And I don't want to just sit at home and do nothing. So, we'll uh, go and help. We could pet Darius. But we don't have any stress. So, I'm going to keep it. Thoroughly informed. The serving staff of a court is often conveniently overlooked as they overhear conversation, clean up, move unnoticed through the hallway. So, we can get some informants. And this one, I actually want more success chance. Secrecy doesn't, secrecy doesn't really matter. Well, it always matters, but it's more important that we have success chance. And it's just eight months left, so I think we're gonna do this. And I think this is gonna stay where it is anyway. Uh, because we... or. Maybe even grow, because uh, scheme power and scheme success chance increases secrecy. So, it is a 76. I just want to have a look, see. Uh, yeah, so, it's only positive to do it. It's just, if, if you're maxed, maybe it can go down. I don't know, but it's just beneficial. So, let's see if we can get this. Or, do we beat this army with all of our stuff? Well... We have kind of the same champions as us. I think we have slightly better, but he seems to have, yeah, he seems to have kind of a low, a low quality. Yeah, kind of mediocre. So let's finish this siege and I think, I think we're leaving. Let's go like this, so make sure we, we leave this province. Cause, oh crap, they're being... <clears throat> they outsmarted me. <laughs> well, I don't think it would have mattered. I think we were kind of trapped there. Because if we went south, uh, they could have just gone there before us. Because... To... Oh shit! They killed one of my sons in battle. Okay, I think we're leaving. But I guess he wasn't... It's not like he was incredible. Unless he was on the council. He was. Ooh, that's no good. Okay, he was my steward. I think that might be okay then, because our steward was absolutely garbage. I think he had like a four. Well, I don't think he actually had a two, but yeah. Real sad outliving a child and all that, but it's, it's not the end of the world. It is a little bit unfortunate. So let's, as a... Uh, as cope mechanism, let's pet Darius. Hey, secret, secret revealed. I look down to see that my cat Darius dropped a scroll. Sweet. 
so we can learn that he's a Kaushimar and we can reveal it but I'm not sure if uh, revealing it this way actually does anything here I'm gonna make sure just make sure I selected you do like that and pats very good Okay, the winged messenger. As my scheme moves closer to fruition, swift communication is key. I have an especially clever pigeon which uh, which Count Kylon could use to send urgent messages to me here in Farajird. Uh, if need if need arises. So we can get some success chance, but this one we're already maxed out. So I I don't think we need to involve more people. So, let's expose secret. And... You see, he's a vassal, so he should be involved. He's not? You see, no, he's the right religion. He is a Banu Hakim. He should absolutely be involved. He's a Banu Hakim... guy in the area. Unless he was, like, over there, maybe. Because that's not an involved area. Hmm. Maybe. Whatever, it's not a big deal. While Kohadadad's ability to make friends has proven invaluable to my scheme, he's not quite as careful around others as he should be. He is too fond of dropping vague hints, and if someone were to start asking questions, there's no telling what he would divulge. Okay, that sounds like a terrible person to have along. <laughs> like, he's so happy with how sneaky he is, he, he leaves a little bit of hints. Like, oh, he, he sure likes... To eat poison, doesn't he? Okay. Maybe not quite like that, but... Um, yeah, maybe we just go with that, because... I think we'll still be at 95. And I don't want a 41% chance that they actually... Exposes it, so... No, no, no. Um, if he can't keep a secret, he must keep quiet instead. So, that's good enough. And I think we're just gonna disband this now. We've been involved plenty, but we're not gonna win this war unless I invest much more troops. And I don't feel like doing that. So that's all the help you get. If you didn't win with that, you're not gonna win the war. And it's not my problem anymore. Duties of the faithful. The Ashira community is very strong in Persia. One of the tenets of this movement is to let morals live as they please with the least amount of interference possible from the vampires. Obviously, this, is al this isn't always very practical for rulers of the night. One such Ashera representative has recently come to your domain, complaining that your agent are taking a too heavy-handed approach regarding mortal matters in the area. Well, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> That's a lot of control loss. Um, I don't want to lose control and I don't want Ashera to gain influence. Hey, Ashira loses influence, and, well, I guess an act of tyranny isn't positive, but I don't care too much about it. I'm just gonna see, Ashira is not one around here. No, okay, good. Ashira is healing family, so we want them to lose some, right? Or are they just not important. I guess they're not important, but I don't want them to have influence anyway. So I rule as I want. Shut up. Besides the sun, the greatest enemy of any vampire might be the fire. And despite their best efforts, it might often be hard to hide from any flammable material that is from that than it is from the rays of light. As such, you are considering putting the haven of your target to the torch. You will need agents to pro provoke a commotion and enough combustible, ar combustible around to make sure that absolutely everything burns. It, it is a, a brutish, if simple and efficient, potential solution to get rid of anything inside the, uh, inside the palace. So, you got presence, aspects and mortis, blah blah blah. But this is uh, bad against fortitude, which you don't have, so this seems like an excellent... An excellent idea. And got him. Excellent. Very good. Hunters hunting. 
There's a great many people that like to kill vampires and you can even find some organizations dedicated to the cause. They range from mere annoyance to worthy foes, but perhaps they could also be useful in tonight's matter. If you were to disclose the ha haven location to your target to some interested third parties, you could be sure that something would be happening. So tell some hunters, fortitude would prevent that, but you don't have very good fortitude. So... It seems like a great opportunity. Kill him. Yes. Yes. Die, bastards. Die. So, we put a bit of a lead there. Which is excellent. And uh, can you please finish this war? Taking sides. Web, uh, bu web bureaucracy generally trundles forward under its own, mi under its own momentum. It's hard to read today. I don't know why. But once in a blue moon, an issue without clear solution rears its ugly head. Today is Nayaba, a noted uh, Sa Samilite, uh, principal of faith of Uber Gur and Harun, baron of Kulandi, who have been butting heads. My mind spins with petty details and so it soon becomes clear neither party is in the, ri in the right and only one will leave her satisfied. These n some of these names are so hard to read. <laughs> Uh, we can get some popular opinion here and less there. Honestly, I'm not sure I care either way. But I guess I go with court chaplain Haroon. Because he's not a filthy mortal who is a nun. Seems like she's a lisping enemy of ours. So why would I, why would I side with her? I don't even know why she's alive. And uh, we got a nice a nice little bump of prestige from that war, which is excellent, even though we didn't win. But it seems like we still got like 400. Saucy readings. Oh, is Aladdin rotating through our court again? Um, they're enca and captured by to a book. Today I finally cornered Halima with a book in her hands. Quickly scanning through the text, I find pirates, scantily clad maidens, luxury driven kings, uh, lash lascivious and devious queens and even enriched street rats who marries princesses through the help of a djinn. Um, I, I guess keep burning it? <laughs> or... Yeah, yeah just, just keep burning it. They shall fear me. None shall read in my court. Oh, we have an inspiration. Right. So... Let's... Uh, yeah, 100 gold for a book seems, seems alright. We have plenty of money and books can give us prestige and stuff. So let us um, let us do the council, uh, council of Scrolls needs to be non-existent. So confront them and let's flagellate just to get rid of some stress. <laughs> uh, that's fine. Hey, our lover died finally because Oh, it doesn't help our stress, but I didn't want to be her lover, and uh, it was kind of... She could kind of blackmail me with it, so I kind of didn't want her to hang about too much. So, what's the state of the Persian realm? Or the Persian struggle? So, Web of Knives are absolute, which is great. Ashira is also absolute. Council of Scrolls is non-existent, which is great. Asila is non-existent. So everyone is non-existent except for Ashira and Web of Knives. And how do we feel about Ashira? Um, oh, the Lost, uh, Lost Tribes is also absolute. But having the Ashira... Okay, I don't know if they go after another name as well, but we might need to slander them a, a bit too. But we can wait on that maybe because we have gotten a nice uh, little head start again. So we're gonna just let that keep going. And we can found a holy order, which I do want. So, uh, yeah, where's Zawa? It's a Bernie title, very close to our capital. Oh, damn hiccups. 
Uh, Marshall Topics. My fairy Samira approaches me with her arms full of manuscripts. My lord, there are so many areas of warfare that are worthy of my of attention. Strategy, troop composition, battle itself. I don't even know where to start. Um... I don't know. Maybe... Maybe do chivalry and prowess, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. That sounds more fun. So, let's make a holy order. Zawa is fine. We have the money. We have the piety. And the piety is going to come back. We can even go on some pilgrimage soon. Um, actually, it's 15 years. Oh, damn. Well, we get quite a bit of piety, so that's fine. And I want a holy order because, uh, well, it's sweet. Always love having holy orders. So, we're going to go with that. And I request for funds. My fairy Samira insists that the funds I have supplied her with are not enough. I mean, right now it's kind of whatever you need. Just have money. We got so much. We're making so much. It's fine. When minds collide, as I pass the library, the rumbles of Countess Fagira's discontent piques my interest. She is debating Rostam, a visiting Persian theolo theologian of some repute. The difference between Path of Righteousness and Tariq al-Hakim are more than merely technical. Fa Fagira lectures, your heresy has diverged from blood. The true matter of the road of blood is encompassed by both faith and the middle-aged man. Uh, by both faiths. The middle-aged man says solemnly, it is the ignorant who makes canyons or rills. Well, aren't you clever? But you're not that clever. You are a giant. I do love me some giant vampires. That's always fun. So we can 50-50 basically of getting some learning and uh, some prestige. And they join my court. Oh, I don't want to lose. Let's just uh, roll the die. This, all this never backfires for me. Come on. Ow. Oh. Yeah, of course I spent, and and uh, they joined someone else, so <laughs> always lose the 50-50, but whatever, it's not a big deal. My leash, I know, uh, I know something that will cheer you up. Watch closely as I sneak up on my prey, my jester Halima whispers to me. What is she up to? Hungry? Halima screams, hurling a saffron cake in the face of my fairy Samira. What a priceless expression. Oh, and Samira seems to have taken taken it somewhat fine. Oh, joy, what fun. Um, no, no, no friendships. <laughs> That's it. Now fight. <laughs> Who are you? You're just some random. Yeah, I want to see them fight. She's going to get wounded, but that's fine. She's immortal. She's here to amuse me. Excellent. Samira exacerbated uh, cries spoil. Samira's exacerbated cries sp spoil a quiet moment. How am I to go about writing about warfare when you when my quill keeps going missing? Oh wait, that was right. She's the one writing my book. Well, she got a good scrap, and she's writing a book again about warfare. So she got some training, I guess. I guess she she rushes over to me, my lord. Every time I make a bit of progress it seems that something goes wrong i'm certain someone at court is tampering with my work the writer huffs in, in frustration and storms off back to her study could it be halima it's probably halima isn't it inspiration sabotage after supper i lay waiting near samira's room rooms with a handful of guards watching the passage of, as kashba grows darker just as I consider giving up, a trembling light dances down the corridor, followed by a cloaked silhouette. The dark figure pu uh, pushes open the door to the study and furtively checks the corridor once more, her face illuminated by the flickering oil burner. Halima. Aha! To the dungeons! <laughs> uh, throw her out the kashba. Or I will handle this my own way. Sneaky deeds. Nah. To the dungeons! 
Well, now she's no longer a, a court jester. And that's fine. Um, Duchess Safia and Duke Karif Al-Numer are amongst the most powerful vassals of my realm. I never know how to keep them happy, so they don't go around stirring up trouble. Perhaps flattery is the way to go. Anyone would be, uh, be pleasant to have something made in their name, wouldn't they? And I have just the right thing in the making. I should let my fairy Samira know that I am dedicating her masterpiece to my trustworthy vassal and adver adver advisors. My brain shut off. Then again, it's m it's my artifact, so maybe I should just... Uh, um, I could do it to myself, because I am the greatest, so why not? Let's go with that. Oh, and there's a lot of blinking. We're getting a lot of progress. So we've gotten about a hundred in this episode, which is great. Keep blinking. Oh, and our dynasty is more renowned. That's nice. Inspiration. Fickle Philip. I bump into every into a very grave looking Samira, my writer, hoping that she doesn't bring ill news of the splendid book she should soon have ready for me. Oh there you are, my leash. I have hit a wall in my work. Nothing major. My ideas has gone has gone to ground as the pressure mounts, she laughs nervously. I just need some inspiration. Mighty Caliph, might you have some prior examples? Ah, I have just the tonic. So uh forty percent the artifact produced through Samira, blah blah blah, might be slightly higher quality, books of inspiration gains two progress, two hundred and five percent. Uh, one progress, 42, nothing happens. Oh, 14, is she gains ill, and 2, she dies. I like this thing. I have just the tonic. He just gained one progress. Okay, that's fine. My dear son is corresponding with uh, blah, 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 and it's very nice. He's happy with my correspondence with my chancellor or something. And a pool of blood is congealing under the feet of the diplomat. So, I guess they pay for it again. Can't have them keep sending bloody people that soaks into my carpets. Do you know how expensive a carpet is? It is more expensive than you'd think. At, at least fancy ones like mine. And do we want to upgrade this? Mm. Yes, let's just upgrade that. We make a good money and uh, want to get to six. It's not that it's something amazing, but I just like having high grandeur. It's nice having a fancy court, don't you think? Inspiration, fellow connoisseur. My vassal, Count Kwusay ibn Namdar, accosts me. Well met, liege. I've heard tell of your patronage of Samira, the writer. They say she's writing about warfare worthy of a caliph. Please, take this. Give it to her. I wouldn't want to miss the chance of, uh, to aid the creation of a masterpiece. Poor uh, Kwusay ibn Namdar must have more money than he knows what to do. But yeah, sure. Make my book better. That just benefits me. I don't need 15 gold. So I'll gladly do that. And I realized I don't want to um, accept gifts. This is a lot of money and that is generous and all that. But it is also the leading cause of uh, points in healing family. So I absolutely do not want any kind of gift because that furthers the healing family. Um, what would you call it? Their agenda, I guess. <laughs> my lord, my fairy Samira smiles and gestures me over to an ink-stained hand. The book is finished. I hope the completed work overshadows my lack of knowledge on the subject. <laughs> you wrote a book on warfare, but you don't know enough about, uh, about warfare to write a book about warfare. So I guess you made some pretty scribblings on the side to overshadow the lack of knowledge what oh well 
An ornate tome containing modest advice and rumination regarding chivalry and court courtliness. The cover is leather, displaying a repeating image of mythological beasts and enunciated by the placement of agate inserts. It's held close by ornamental clasps. Hey, more prestige. That's very nice. It is prestige is always prestige, so hey, it's better than nothing. We always need prestige. Oh, Nak Nak Nakurtum's orders. Nakurtum, the oldest child of Hakim himself, as assumed control over Alamut 1214 in a rash demonstration of her force. Uh, her devotion to declining to a declining religion and her her haughty demeanor towards the other factions have left her with few friends. He barely controls Alamut itself. Still, she is the eldest and that title is worthy of a lot of respect in Banu Akim society. As such, the, she expects to be obeyed when she issues her command. Going against her will is easy as she doesn't have the means to enforce her authority, but it's still a breach of etiquette in a way. So when one of those orders comes your way, you have to decide your course of action, but is she isn't even um, she isn't even in control of her Alamut, so I don't need to obey her obey her orders. So ignore her ramblings. I don't need to listen to you. You're not my boss. Sitting. No, oh, I don't need to read that. My vassal, Baron um, Harandaranaranyanan, approaches me, tapping his foot like he often does. My lord, I have a brilliant idea. How about we host a fair, or perhaps even a festival, for the common folk to expose them to a different uh, culture? So, what culture is this? It's Bengali. Stop trying to incorporate Bengali into our society. It's on the other side of India, and we're not even in India. So, I'm not gonna spend any resources on it, so stop pestering me about it. My lord, my steward Duke Ju Juha takes the floor. Sounds, sounds like he's named after uh, like the Spartan uh, war cry or whatever you call it. No, not war cry. The, like, the Spartan uh, hee-ha when in 300. Like, what is your your profession? Duha! <laughs> I have an idea to improve taxation. You could send surveyors to question your subjects about every property, its name, owner, extension, and value. How many people and animals live there? So, it can take a lot of money to get something back. Or, every vassal pays me five, which is quite a lot. But yeah, I think we just, we lose 135. That's fine. We got the money. No biggie. He who makes a beast out of himself. A gaggle of grotty peasants appears before my throne. They are armed with the most vicious flaming farming equipment. I've, se I've seen in my whole career of quashing rebellions. All right. It's this one. We had this earlier on. And uh, uh, this, <laughs> this brings... This being which rules us is a true demon incarnate. No real man could be capable of such violent ex extremities as we have faced. And isn't extremities just like arms and legs and stuff? Or unless they're referring to my extremely violent arms flailing around. But I might be wrong. I'm not an English, an English scientist. So we can say I'm no demon. I am Caliph, which is much, much worse. And, oh, well, I gotta have to censor that. That's great. Stupid YouTube. And stupid nudity filter doesn't work. But uh, I can have the, the nickname, the Spawn of the Beast, which is awesome. Or we can just go with the prestige and court grandeur and intrigue lifestyle. And confident in legious humanity. kind of want the spawn of the beast because that's a fun nickname let's go with it <laughs> i want that nickname i am known as the spawn of the beast it might not be optimal but i like that nickname oh shit they are catching up fast oh that's no good 
Uh, Darius, charmed vassal. As I walk outside, I am greeted with the sight of Baron Gangdev. Very good. He's hanging out with my cat. And he's liking my cat. Always good. And people are marginalized. I don't care. Your acquaintance Halima died. Oh, that's uh, that's the one who made my my book. Excellent job. We it's done, my lord. States uh, states my steward Duke Juja, as he bows in front of me. Several months ago, you commissioned a, s a survey of all your lands. Now it is completed, and detail on on your ownership and land and land value are all collected in this book. As long as this description is faithful to reality, your taxation will be much more efficient throughout your realm. Hey, 5% is... Uh, how much is that? 0.4. So, not that much. Secrets exposed. Ooh, excellent. That'll, ex that'll um, do wonders for our agenda. A secret truth has reached the light of day. My vassal, Duchess Habib al Sikin had an affair with her lover Duke Gabriel Chavez. I do not see what the fuss is about. It's not as if lust is an unnatural affliction. Yeah, sure, whatever. Um, did they have anyone in like absolute? Yeah, Council of Scrolls. We kind of need to sabotage that. So, oh, but didn't we already do that? Because we need, we need them to be non-ex- wait. They are non-existent. So, Council of Scrolls is absolute. Okay, so I guess this isn't just isn't uh, progressing. That should be fine. So, we should get way more of this just thanks to our influence because we have well this is non-existent this should mm, this is weird they are definitely non-existent it said so right yeah it even said so if you check this it's non-existent so why isn't that highlighted oh well whatever uh, al Shara. Al-Ashrad's Mysteries. The head of the sorcerer caste of the Amur has always been the mysterious Al-Ashrad, an ancient and widely respected and feared child of the even more mysterious Urshulgi. Known to keep to himself, the Amur is responsible for some of the most wondrous creation, the child of Akim and their masterful use of blood magic. His slow, careful demeanor betrays the mind of a true ancient, planning for centuries ahead. Still recently, Al-Ashrad has been uncommonly active in Alamut, gently pushing for the agendas of the Council of Scrolls. The faction that he and other moderates voiced in Banu Hakim have created. Uh, Council of Scrolls need to have as little as possible. So we can't have them gain because then we have to spend another 500 to like qu squash them. So hamper him at every turn. We'll spend some prestige but that is absolutely fine. I'd rather spend 100 now than 500, like, right after this. So, yeah, that's fine. And I think we're gonna end this episode here. So, we're getting very close to having a broken family, which just sounds delightful. And uh, we're also saving up for the, the A God Dream. So, we're getting there. But we're... There should be a little bit left. So we're getting close to it though. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.